La Patisserie Chouquette is a very unique experience, not just a bakery. We wanted something that was typical French, something that was very different from any experience that you could get at a bakery in St. Louis. The overall concept is luxurious French style. We have taken things that we absolutely adore from food, from France, from fashion, from my hometown of New Orleans, and melded these things together almost seamlessly to create an over-the-top wow experience. We take a very designer approach to pastry, so every season we pick a couple of new things, whether it's an ingredient or a color that we're really feeling for the year. Anything that we absolutely love and we want you to love too, we introduce it all in our fashion week. And so that's gonna be really fun because we have different lines to suit different people. We have Chouquette by Simone Four. We have Sweet Chic, which is our line of designer edible handbags and jewelry. We have Street Chic, which is our designer line of tennis shoes, so kids can bring me a sketch of a shoe that they have created, and then I will create that from cake. We also have chocolate pumps and stilettos, all from chocolate. In France, you have these gourmandises, which are, you know, just little snacks to kind of get you through the day. And here, when we snack, we feel so guilty. And I'm like, have another. You know, eat one for me, too. So we're going to have prêt de manger which means ready to eat. And these are prepackaged items that we've made daily that are ready to just grab and maybe have in your top drawer of your office. and pull one out and kind of savor and go, hmm, if you can't sit for a while and relax with us, you'll have a bit of us on the road. There are so many things that are lacking in the pastry world in St. Louis, and I really want to showcase those items, like cannelée, like, oh my goodness, like I've never seen cannelée in St. Louis. And so we not only have cannelée, we have varieties of cannelée. So we've got the Café au lait cannelé and the green tea cannelé. Oh. So I was working as an executive pastry chef at the Ritz-Carlton in New Orleans. And my husband was working in the Cayman Islands. And we were both looking for a place where we could work together in the same, <laughs> same country. I chose St. Louis and we came here and worked at the Ritz-Carlton and I met Ben through Fox River Dairy and we became friends. He called me and said, you have to come over and take a look at my space. And then he goes, do you see that building across the street? That could be your bakery. <laughs> From there, I did research on the area, found out what these guys were doing, took tours of the homes that they were doing, took a tour of the Montessori school when it was literally just ash. And I could see it, I began to, buy into this way of fabulous living in the city and believing in an area that had been forgotten. I'm extremely excited. I'm so excited I'm bursting at the seams. I can't wait to bake. Like, my staff all starts at the beginning of the year. They're extremely excited to put out food that they get to only look at in magazines, or when you go to France, you get to see these things. I'm excited to be able to teach them this and to be able to introduce St. Louis to a different type of pastry.